mga mambabatas, ikinatuwa na wala ng for later release sa 2023 budget. Ikinalugod ng mga kongresista na wala ng for later release o FLR sa 2023 national budget. Kasabay ng pagratipika ng Kamara sa panukalang pambansang pondo para sa susunod na taon ay inihayag ni House Speaker Martin Romualdez na mismong si Department of Budget and Management, DBM, Secretary Amina Pang-Andeman ang nagsabi na wala ng FLR sa susunod na taon. Kung matatandaan, marami sa mga mambabatas ang kinwestyon ng FLR na ipinatupad sa ilalim ng taong 2021 at taong 2022 budget. Sa kabila kasi ng inaprubahang budget ay naiipit ang pondo para sana sa mahalagang programa, dahil kinakailangan pa ng approval ng presidente para sa paglalabas ng pondo. Ipinatupad ito ng nakaraang dalawang budget cycle upang tiyakin ang tamang budget programming at management lalo na at nahaharap sa pandemya ang Pilipinas. LTO, maghihigpit sa pagpapatupad ng anti-drunk at drug driving law ngayong Kapaskuhan. Naghahanda na ang Land Transportation Office, LTO, para sa deployment ng mga enforcer nito lalo na ngayong Kapaskuhan kung kailan inaasahang dagsana naman ang mga biyahero. Ayon kay LTO Chief Assistant Secretary J.R. Tugad, kabilang sa tututukan ng ahensya ngayon ang paghihigpit sa pagpapatupad ng Republic Act 10586 o ang Anti-Drunk and Drug Driving Act of 2013. Paalala nito, lubhang delikado ang magmaneho ng langgo sa alak dahil maaari itong magdulot ng aksidente. Para naman mapaigting ang operasyon sa lansangan ay planong ay recalibrate ng LTO ang mga breath analyzer para magamit ng enforcer sa mga checkpoint. LTO, maghihigpit sa pagpapatupad ng anti-drunk at drug driving law ngayong Kapaskuhan. Naghahanda na ang Land Transportation Office, LTO, para sa deployment ng mga enforcer nito lalo na ngayong Kapaskuhan kung kailan inaasahang dagsana naman ang mga biyahero. Ayon kay LTO Chief Assistant Secretary J.R. Tugad, kabilang sa tututukan ng ahensya ngayon ang paghihigpit sa pagpapatupad ng Republic Act 10586 o ang Anti-Drunk and Drug Driving Act of 2013. Paalala nito, lubhang delikado ang magmaneho ng langgo sa alak dahil maaari itong magdulot ng aksidente. Para naman mapaigting ang operasyon sa lansangan ay planong ay recalibrate ng LTO ang mga breath analyzer para magamit ng enforcers sa mga checkpoint. Perlene Budal has given the public a glimpse of the Pearl of the Orient Seas, inspired national costume she would have worn in Miss Planet International weeks after she announced her withdrawal from the pageant. The Binabining Pilipinas 2022 first runner-up looked stunning in a silver and blue layered gown by Marvin Garcia, paired with a gold crown-like headpiece and a sheer gold veil, as seen on her Instagram page yesterday, December 5. The costume also features a big ball to symbolize the Pearl of the Orient Seas, according to Budol. The dress was her Plan B, after the costume she originally intended to wear was apparently damaged and misplaced on her way to Uganda for the pageant. This is the Plan B national costume I would have worn in Uganda since Ethiopian Airlines damaged the first one we prepared, Caratella ng Calabaw, by Patrick Izarena. Budol's manager Wilbert Tolentino announced last November 11 that Budol had withdrawn from Miss Planet International due to, uncertainties, from the pageant's organizers. The 2022 edition of Miss Planet International no longer pushed through last November 19 in Uganda, and will instead be held in Cambodia in January 2023. Sila talaga ang dalawang idol ng bayan na nagpabago ng Pilipinas at nagpatino sa mga hoodlum. Sana, ganito uli sa panahon natin. Sila talaga ang dalawang idol ng bayan na nagpabago ng Pilipinas at nagpatino sa mga hoodlum. Sana, ganito uli sa panahon natin. Pinamamadali na ni Pangulon Bongbong Marcos sa Philippine Statistics Authority ang pag-iimprente ng digital version ng National ID at ang physical na version nito, sa pulong kasama ang PSA, sinabi ni Yusek Dennis Mapa na makikipagtulungan sila sa Bangko Sentral ng Pilipinas, upang mapadali ang produksyon at pag-imprenta nito kailan kaya bibilis, sabay smile, hehehehe. Spirit of friendship and goodwill the PAF's FA-50PH fighter jets escorted the two F-15J aircraft of the Japan Air Self-Defense Force, JASDF, upon its arrival at Clark Air Base, Mabalakat City, 
Pampanga on December 6, 2022. The arrival was followed by a simple program that kicked off the goodwill interaction between PAF and JASDF participants, with MGEN Takahashi Hideo, Vice Commander, Western Air Defense Force, JASDF as the guest of honor. The activity was hosted by Call Leo A. Fontanilla PAF, MNSA, Commander, 5th Fighter, F-15J's arrival at the Philippines as part of the JASDF goodwill visit which aims to strengthen their long-standing relationship with the PAF. Natapo ng crew yung food namin sa Jollibee kaninang breakfast. Napaisip agad ako na yung pinasok niya for today is malamang iaabono niya lang since limandaan dagdag yung bill namin so di ako nagdalawang isip to pay for it again kasi alam ko mahirap maging service crew sa fast food. Kinausap ko yung nasa cashier and made sure na hindi siya magbabayad sa natapon na food. Siguro pagod na si kuya or may problemang bitbit, ingat na lang next time, sending virtual hugs sa lahat ng service crew, deserve nyo ng mas mataas na sahod, credit, repost from Maris Agento. Alin ang mas mahalaga, tubig o kuryente? Akin kuryente. Oh. Akin tubig. Oh, sige. Mas mahalaga ang tubig. Pag wala kang panliligo, mamamahang po kay mo. <laughs> Maraming bagay ang hindi na pwedeng ulitin, kaya kung masaya ka ngayon, palagi mong sulitin at laging mag-iwan ng bakas ng ala-ala. Celine Dion has been diagnosed with stiff person syndrome, SPS, which causes her muscles to tense uncontrollably. The condition ultimately leaves sufferers as human statues, as it progressively locks the body into rigid positions, leaving people unable to walk or talk. While there is no cure for SPS, there are treatments to slow down the progression, with Celine revealing she is doing all she can to minimize symptoms. The 54-year-old singer addressed her fans in a tearful Instagram post on Thursday as she revealed it has forced her to cancel her European tour. Hello everyone. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to reach out to you. I miss you all so much. And I can't wait to be on stage talking to you in person. As you know, I've always been an open book. And I wasn't ready to say anything before. But I'm ready now. I've been dealing with problems with my health for a long time. And it's been really difficult for me to face these challenges and to talk about everything that I've been going through. Recently, I've been diagnosed with a very rare neurological disorder called the stiff person syndrome, which affects something like one in a million people. While we're still learning about this rare condition, we now know this is what's been causing all of the spasms that I've been having.
Unfortunately, these spasms affect every aspect of my daily life, sometimes causing difficulties when I walk and not allowing me to use my vocal cords to sing the way I'm used to. It hurts me to tell you today. This means I won't be ready to restart my tour in Europe in February. I have a great team of doctors working alongside me to help me get better. And my precious children who are supporting me and giving me hope. I'm working hard with my sports medicine therapist every day to build back my strength and my ability to perform again. But I have to admit, it's been a struggle. All I know is singing. It's what I've done all my life. And it's what I love to do the most. I miss you so much. I miss seeing all of you being on the stage, performing for you. I always give 100% when I do my shows but my condition is not allowing me to give you that right now. For me to reach you again, I have no choice but to concentrate on my health at this moment. And I have hope that I'm on the road to recovery. This is my focus and I'm doing everything that I can to recuperate. I want to thank you so much for your encouraging wishes of love and support on my social media. This means a lot to me. Take care of yourselves. Be well. I love you guys so much and I really hope I can see you again real soon. Angat na angat sa pagluluto nito ah. Mapapa chef ka talaga. Ha 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 perfect pa good vibe lang guys. Credit to respective owner. Power Sand Channel. Your channel passed the 1,500,000 views milestone on December 8, 2022. Your videos are getting so much interest and playtime. Your channel passed the 1,250 uploads milestone on December 8, 2022. Your channel passed the 4,000 subscribers milestone on December 8, 2022. Your channel is growing and attracting even more viewers. Congratulations and keep up the good work.